it's Magenta from the Design Lab, and I'm here in Chicago at my alma mater, the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. I'm going to give you a quick tour of some of the facilities that gave me an introduction to fabrication. So this is the Columbus Wood Shop, and this is our only all-access shop on campus, meaning any student from any discipline can come in here to get their projects done. They have band saw, table saw, miter saws, double miter saw, Downdraft table for sanding, spindle sander, belt sander, panel saw, the list goes on and on. So here we are in the metal shop. Um, this is the only metal shop on campus. They have all kinds of amazing tools for forming, shaping, um, shearing, cutting, and welding. They offer oxyacetylene and welding, uh, MIG welding, TIG welding, um, anything you need to break your stuff down and put it back together in metal, we have it here. One of my favorite tools in the metal shop is the Haasfeldt tube bender. Um, so this can take any sort of rod stock and bend it any which way you want. Um, and you do that by using a combination of the dies we have over here on the wall. So by putting these together in different formations, you can get um, tight right angle bends, you can get obtuse, acute bends, um, and they can be going on all different planes, which is a really valuable tool when making things out of rod stock. Another really awesome part about the metal shop here is that they offer a forge. Um, and so forge is basically one of the oldest metal working techniques, I would say, or technologies, um, because it's essentially blacksmithing. So um, heating up metal and bending it with hand tools um, and forming it without the use of a foundry. Anvils, hammers, all used for the forge. So this is our school's foundry. It's one of the only foundries in a downtown in a city, and it's definitely the only foundry in downtown Chicago. It was actually grandfathered in, so the rule to not have a foundry in a downtown came after um, the opening of this one. And this is where we pour, pour molten aluminum and bronze. Um, you can see some lost wax casts here, uh, so the ceramic shell um, process here. These are the finger breaks. Not for breaking fingers. <laughs> Do not put your fingers in there. <laughs> They're used to bend things into right angles. So like, if you were gonna make a metal box, you would go to the finger break, you'd have tabs, and you would put your metal in, you put your dies where you need them based on like how wide your piece is that you're gonna bend. And then you move this guy up, and it'll put pressure to bend your piece at a right angle, or whatever angle you want if you stop partway through. This is like the super streamlined, like modern version. <laughs> where it's like magnetic. So you turn on the magnets and just the strips here magnetize the dies to the piece. And then it's a lot less intense, I would say, but accomplishes the same thing. And it could still break your fingers like a lot of other stuff in this shop. <laughs> so this is the light metals room. Um, and here they have a bunch of hand tools to work on smaller projects. People work on sort of jewelry projects or smaller sculptural pieces. Really great for working with copper um, and other light metals, obviously. Um, and so here they have some kilns, anvils, small vices, but then one of the larger tools that couldn't fit in the shop um, is the plasma CNC, which is one of the coolest tools ever. <laughs> um, the plasma CNC sort of works the way a laser cutter works with acrylic, um, except it's not a laser, it's a plasma cutter. Um, and the way you can do plasma cutting by hand um, this just takes it to a computer numerically controlled, that's called CNC machine. You can open up files in Illustrator and interface directly with the machine um, from Illustrator to the control remote here uh, to the machine. All this stuff is cut with the plasma CNC. So you can get pretty intricate, as you can see here, um, or basic shapes. So this is the spray booth, but not only the spray booth, it also has our powder coater. It's where you do a colored coating out of thermoplastic powder that's free flowing and you electrically charge it so that it has electrically static adhesion to your piece. Um, and you do that with the little gun over here. So you take this guy, you put your powder in here for powder coating, you put it on there, you ground your um, you put your little ground clamp on your metal piece and then you charge it and spray down your piece. Um, and once it's pretty solidly coated, then you're gonna put it into the oven, um, which you can actually use a conventional oven, uh, but this is just heats up way quicker and it's 
more powerful and makes more sense in an industrial setting. So that was a brief look at the amazing facilities here at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. Thank you so much to everyone who made this tour possible, and we'll see you again next time.